Hi, everybody. That's an interesting. That's interesting. I've never been asked that before. 
needs a cat bun. <laughs> and we changed the script to sneak them into the show. And um, a lot of times, uh, I, I don't know if I should be doing this, but they'll be like the original line that's written and then our re rewrite of the cat bun. And the original line, I won't do as well as the cat bun. Because <laughs> I know someone is going to look at the two lines and be like, should we go with line A or line B? Mm, they always choose line B. <laughs> um, so it is, it is my goal to sneak in as many cat puns into the show as I can. Um, so yeah, it's, it's reinforced the fact that I do love cat puns and cat jokes. Yeah. I mean, we honestly all love it. That's why we love cat noir. <laughs> um, for me, I don't think... I don't know, it's hard to say like, if I took anything with Marinette, but I think I've shown to everybody, you know those little sounds that she makes, like, <laughs> that's just me. So now I guess everybody knows like, the sounds I make in everyday life. Maybe I'll make this one. Sure. Um, all right, so I know both of you have done like, stuff from Japan and France and other different cultures. Is there any like, cultural differences that really stand out doing like versions of Stella Mars? I feel like Ladybug is definitely more kid friendly than most anime. For sure. It's definitely more kid friendly than Attack on Titan. <laughs> I think the biggest difference um, is the style of dubbing, also. Um, we use something called a rhythmo band. Um, which is kind of a European or French style of doing things. And what a rhythm band is, it's this bar at the bottom of the screen, and all of the script is on it. Different characters are on different lines. So as you're recording, your lines will float across the screen and go across this little line that's in the center. And it's almost like dubbing karaoke. So you're supposed to like say your line as your line goes across the screen. Um, we don't use a rhythm band when we're recording anime, when it's Japanese or... Um, uh, from other countries, but it's neat to kind of French dubs to use yeah. that rhythm of it. I really like it. I like yeah. it a little better, to be honest. It takes a little bit to get used to, yeah. um, but once you're used to it, then it's like, it's great. Yeah. Um, we also play out entire scenes, so when you're recording anime, usually the flaps from Japan are much more difficult and strange, because Japanese is such a different language than English, versus French is a bit closer. So um, we go line by line when we're recording anime, but for Miraculous, they'll play an entire scene, and if you're the first person in the scene, when you're actually recording, you're not hearing anyone else, you're just kind of recording off yourself. But if Christina is in there first, then I get to play off of her, which is my favorite thing to do. It's always nice when you're, yeah. you're already in there. I like to play off, for sure. Yeah. Um, so we they'll, they'll preview the entire scene, and then we'll do the entire scene, and then they'll go back and kind of touch things up. If you miss something, or they want to make something a little stronger or different. Um, but that's also another kind of unique thing about this show. Interesting. Now, I did have a question about the long. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we all love our kitties. But, uh, when you were recording for him in that mental state, like, did you have to go to a dark place in order to portray that? Because Adrian's more lighthearted, and more, you know, not as nowhere near as dark. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, typically, Miraculous is much lighter than some of these other anime shows that are really adult-based yeah. shows. So, um, I, I haven't had many opportunities to go really deep or really strong or really emotional, but in that particular episode of Cat Blanca, I was able to let go more than ever before. It was it was very cool to find another side of the character. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had to take him to a much darker place. Um, I love being able to voice different sides of the character. I also love to voice Felix, um, because I get to talk to myself. Um, <laughs> so we, we go and we record all of Adrian first, and then we go back and record all of Felix's line off, lines off of Adrian, so it's very fun to play off myself. It can be a little dangerous to talk to yourself, though. There is one episode where it's just me talking to me for quite some time. <laughs> I'm all caught up, so yeah. All right, so why don't we done the musical Christmas episode? Do you really enjoy doing that? Because I know you're really big in music. Yeah, I love singing. It was um, kind of a dream come true to sing in the Christmas episode, for real. Um, 
on or something that you feel like seem to like the songs. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. Yeah, I am uh, not so much a singer. Um, <laughs> you know, I know my, my strengths in singing it hasn't traditionally been one of them, but I was definitely up for the challenge in the Christmas episode. I was really excited to be able to do it. Um, I feel like it's it's a skill, and if you spend time and you yeah. practice and study it, and you, you learn where your voice can go, you can definitely improve and get better. And I, I did my best. I brought my A game to that episode. Um, Actually, my mom was a fantastic singer, and before I recorded that, I got the music and I practiced with my mom. Um, so I, I, I was really happy with what we recorded, and uh, it's, it's fun to still go back and listen to that stuff. I remember, okay, so they gave us the music and I practiced it. Yeah. And then when I got in the booth, they're like, hey, we changed it. Because <laughs> I remember the, the, the song used to go, there is only one thing, na 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 na. It was just different. Na, 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 na. And my dad, they were like, no, we're doing na 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 I was like, whoa, you guys changed it. This is totally different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there were little changes for me, but not as much. I was I like, adapt as well as you could. They had come back to me. It's
So we might record episode 3 and episode 12, then episode 2 and episode 22, like all in the same day. Sometimes we don't know what happened before. So in this particular episode, there's a moment where the party is happening, and a banana swings through the screen, <laughs> right through the party, and just goes, eat peachy, or something like that. Stay peachy. Stay, yeah, stay peachy. That. When I saw that, I was like, wait, go back. <laughs> Play that again. Like, what did I just say? <laughs> and Ezra, the director, was like, it's a banana. <laughs> He said, stay beachy, and I don't know why. <laughs> That's my favorite character. <laughs> so, I, since he first was introduced, I've always loved Luca. <laughs> but um, for like other heroes, Jewel and I forgot her name, Tigress? Is that I think? What Purple Tigress. Purple Tigress. I think that her costume is the coolest. Stay beachy! You're my <laughs> So I follow both of you and Ezra on TikTok. Awesome. And we've seen Ezra and Ezra, but what, out of the uh, Love Square, what is y'all's two favorite shit happen? So, so you follow me on TikTok, I've posted nothing. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but I created an account, so I'm moving in the right direction. Okay, one day I, I will. I've been a little, a little busy, um, but I have some good ideas for TikTok. So just wait, it's gonna be good. So, so we're choosing our favorite of the Love Square. Will you remind the audience of the four options of the Love Square? Yeah. So there's Marinette Cat Noir, yes. Uh, Lady Noir, which is um, Ladybug and Cat Noir, Adrian and Ladybug, and then Adrian and Marinette. Now, am I allowed to pick the entire square? Because that's my answer. <laughs> I want the, the square. I, I shift the entire square, but I want them to end up together in like 10 years, maybe 15. Yeah. Uh, oh, because I feel like that's the end of the show. And I'd like to have a job. Uh, <laughs> oh man, that's a hard question. Can you say, okay, can you tell, I need you guys, okay, this is, this is slightly different, but I need you to say the name of uh, Adrian and Marinette's ship. Adrianette. 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 Wait, wait, wait. What did you say? Adrianette. Adrianette. What did you say? Adrianette. Thank you. Are we saying something different? No, you're saying Adrianette. I'm saying it wrong. No, that's the thing. Because <laughs> I've always said Adrianette, and then people are like, people are like, no, it's Adrianette. It's like, what? See, that's, that's what happens a lot. I think my opinion is right, but also. <laughs> Many moments in the show 
where they get so close <laughs> to finding out who each other are, and then they don't. Yes, they, the, the writers have gotten so good at teasing you, making you think that this is finally going to happen, and there's some episodes where I'm like, oh, and then they don't happen. So, so yeah, in those moments, I'm like, one moment, and it was in the song, and it, the, the lyrics are, Adrian disappears, and Cat Noir appears. He must be working to protect him. <laughs> girl, girl, girl! Thank you! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I think we can all agree they should have found out about each other's identities. So. 15 more years. I wonder how we got in canon, though, how much time has passed? Like a year? <laughs> it's been a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100 episodes. They're, they're fighting like. Yeah, two days. Yeah. Um, so, whenever we were coming to the panel, I had to explain to my dad the entire plot of Miraculous for 10 minutes. You did that all the way here? Yeah, I tried. Good but, work. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have a least favorite. 
favorite episodes, but there were some that were pretty hard vocally, like the one where she was like yelling everything and screaming because she was so angry. Oh, psycho. That was fun. And also there was one where everything was spoken in a rhyme. Oh. Um, that was hard. That <laughs> was really hard. Um, but my favorite episodes of uh, Catwalk was one of my favorites. Ephemeral is great. Oh, the finale to season four was really fun. Yeah, those are my favorites. It's always like the juicy, emotional ones. It got the juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, I'm so nervous. I might bug out. Hi. <laughs> Okay, is it okay if I ask two questions? Yes. Okay, first one, do you guys have to throw up any chemistry with the other voice actors, like with Flag and Gigi and all that? Um, well, you might not know this, but we record by ourselves. All alone. We're all alone in soundproof rooms, and if it sounds like we're talking to each other and connecting with each other in the show, then it's a, a huge compliment to us and to the director and the engineers and the staff and crew. Um, that's our goal, is to make it sound like we're connecting in that way. Yeah. Um, but Max Middleman and Mel Lee are very experienced, very talented actors. So they, you know, connecting with those guys and playing off Max, uh, who plays Plag, is pretty easy for me. He makes my job a lot easier, because um, he's just fantastic at that character. And Mel is pretty much just Kiki in real life. Yeah. She's so sweet. She's so supportive. Um, she's the best. So, yeah, I think they got the right people for those roles for sure. Thank you. Oh, you have two questions. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This is more of a request than the other, but let me just take off my face for this. Okay. Whoa, what did you just take off? This is perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you hear that? Did you take off your face? <laughs> hey, did you hear the pun? Did you hear the pun? Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Were you offering them to me? No. Okay, okay, this is too perfect, okay? Do you think you're blue? Uh, there you go, you hear it now. Okay. Oh. They were cat puns. Oh. Okay, can you do some voice acting on Marinette popping off on Lila? Like, I'm just aching for it all the time. Oh. Oh. If you're the director now, you have to give us more instruction. Yeah. Now, set the scene, tell us the lines. We don't have a script in front of us. You have to help us a little bit. Okay, use your imagination for this. Lila! <laughs> okay, so I set the scene, though. I'll set the scene. Lila is being not imaginative and pushes herself down the stairs and starts crying. What do you do? Lila. That is called gaslighting. <laughs> and it is a psychological tactic. And I really think you should get some therapy. <laughs> I'm so excited. 
to be here. Oh my gosh, I'm excited you're here. Uh, wait, tell me. What's your name? My name is Dean. Dean, nice My question. question is, what quality would you like to see in the next season? What quality? Yeah, that One that we haven't seen before? Okay. Yes. Well, okay, you're asking for like, a new type of Kwame that we'd like to see? Yeah. And we get to create the Kwame? Yeah, I just cheat. Uh, so, so we can create a new Kwame that hasn't been created in the past. Yeah. Well, um, I love poodles. Uh, <laughs> I have a Maltese poodle. Uh, she's like a little white fluff ball. Her name is Micro. She has like a six foot vertical. Um, she jumps really high. Uh, I want to see a poodle Kwame. <laughs>
show or movie, what, who would you be? Ooh, from any different show or movie. Now, now, I have a question. Are we bringing this character into the world of Miraculous, or we just get to voice any other character? Any other character. Okay, cool. Do you have one that comes to mind? Oh, this is like, I don't know, because I love the actors, of course. But Mirabelle and Encanto. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's hard to like cast yourself as another character, so yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be this particular character, but a character like this, uh, I want to play someone like SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, those are really good answers. <laughs> Thank you. So, 
So your your answer was oh, because you're getting the the Sphinx miraculous yeah. or Kwame that you created. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what they're like ladybug and cat Kwame's. Like you have to oh, use like them and create a whole new costume with them. Oh. Man, I feel like ladybug kind of has a lot of different variations, like dragon bug and the mouse and the. Has she merged with a pig? What about the dog? <laughs> Let me see. So it has to look really cute, though. Um, I don't know. What if she merged with... What if, like... Wait. <laughs> what if Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous merged? Oh. Into the world. Somebody, does somebody have a comment about that? Yes. Do it. Can't. We're breaking the rules here, guys. Ooh, any 
Yeah. Um, actually, in the episode, it was a girl named Zoe who got hot tall. But oh, Zoe was the tall one. Yes, Zoe Lee, the new holder of the beam rack. He got turned into Soul Crusher when he stepped soul on crusher. someone. That's right. He grew. Oh. So he looked like Chloe, sort of. So it looked like a mix of, of uh, Chloe with the Arrow Queen because she looks glittery. Um, I want to be Soul Crusher because she's a giant woman. <laughs> what, what's the name of the episode where they go into the video game? Um, in the... And there's a video game episode called, called Gamer 2.0 where they fight as, as the villain. Yeah, it's so... Sort of like Max's game when he's Max, just super upgraded. That's right, that's right. So I want to be able to turn everything into a video game. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 
black. Uh, I like, mm, I like the buggy. Yeah, that that's was, a good power. That was my answer too. Um, what's what's your name? Bonix. 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 Or the Fluff. Because Bonix is the, the character that she transforms into. But Fluff. I'm gonna hire her. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
Midwest Village. Oh yeah, the giant baby. So <laughs> pressure. Yeah, I mentioned the illustrator before. I just think that's such a cool power. Um, He's one of my favorites too. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Um, is that the way till season five? <laughs>